Um, what is your least favorite part to install on a build and why? Whew, where do I start, man? <laughs> oh, I was going to say, it's going to be a good one. God, I'm trying. It, it's going to take me a... For Jerry here. Is it from you? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, I do know what it is. You're right. Let's see what I got here. Uh, don't look at that. <laughs> Please tell me it says Landers. Let's go. <laughs> go right above the toolbox. Dude, that's uh, gonna go on the toolbox. Yeah, it does. Have right on I think it's gotta go on the car. It is. Right on the car. Funny. There's another one coming because that got lost in the mail. I got you that like a month ago. <laughs> yeah, he did He's tell us about it. Person. He told us about Dude, it. What great timing. Let me see it. Yeah. Merry Christmas. I'm doing Steve's <laughs> dumb question and answer. Where's that kid that used to work at the end bay? Why aren't you guys why don't you guys film him? Are you filming Steve in return? Is he will, he tried, I he, tried. My he looked, battery's he dead. 30 minutes for batteries. It's thir like, 30 minutes. Uh, like 30 uh, seconds, but. 30 minutes. That's alright. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're all like people's personal build questions. Yeah. That's not what this when is can about. we see a banshee on the dyno? I don't know. Probably never because we don't have time. <laughs> How did Fran and everyone else get so into cars and building now? God, I don't know. It's just life, bro. Started out with dirt bikes and shit when I was like 10 and then just moves to cars. Would you consider a C6Z06 a good long term investment? No. No, no. Not many cars are going to want good long-term investments. LS or LT? LS all day. So we're doing a little Q&A today. Comments are already rolling in. Uh, this one's for Matt. Matt, how is your Turbo Fox body coming? Uh, it's coming about as far along as the last time we talked about it a year ago. <laughs> so it's, it's not coming. I've been doing a lot of uh, work at my house lately and... The car has just completely been on the back burner. That's fair. But hopefully soon, maybe come spring, I'll have some time. I should have some free time coming up, so. I do have some stuff piled up for it, so. It will get done, everybody. Don't you worry. <laughs> stuff we do it every day. To, yeah. To, to really want to dedicate a weekend to working on your professional cars. There's just so many better things you can do. I mean, you did just have five days off for Christmas. You could have spent some time working on that thing. You know, and I was, I, I did think long. about it. Because I was already over my mom's a little bit. Yeah, perfect time. The car sits and, you know. You get a couple bush lattes in there and you're like. Just everything goes out the window. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to thank uh, Don real quick. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I did his 427 Burnt a little while back. Nice. And he sent me a little Christmas card. And oh, that's awesome. Glad he's enjoying the car and I really appreciate it. Oh. That's awesome. We appreciate our customers, obviously. It's nice to know that they appreciate you as well. Yeah, stuff like that's cool. Yeah, no, that is very cool. Obviously, we appreciate all the monsters, and Jerry appreciates the Red Bulls. and Yep, everything everybody yeah. sends us. We definitely appreciate it, for sure. I really appreciate the Red Bulls. Yeah, oh yeah, especially when Jerry slams two of them. Yeah, no more Red up. Bulls. He doesn't shut up. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's you. <laughs> Eric, what has been your favorite build of 2020? Oh, jeez. I know. There's hard. been so many of them. I know. We've, we've cranked out a lot of badass cars this year. Probably Fran's ZR1. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's a gimme. I was just, this year has been so long, I was trying to remember if it was even in 2020 that yeah. I did it. Well, yeah, dude, I it went down in 19. We didn't. Yeah. So I, that that's fair. That works. There were a few others that I, I just probably can't remember right now. Okay. But um, if I had to say, friends, ZR1 for sure. What is your favorite build of 2020 this past year? What has been your favorite build? I don't know. I don't remember my favorite build of last month. 2020. <laughs> I liked Fletcher's V. Yeah. That V3 was nice. Just going back through my calendar to look at all that. <laughs> the Rotten Burgundy C6Z bill was nice. Okay. A level white C6Z. Yep. There's a two off of my head that I can think of. Okay. What, uh, what's been your favorite build of 2020 so far? 2020? I know you like these piston rod ones. I do. Why don't I do TJ's car? Uh, last year. Last year? Yeah. 
I tell you, this one, we might end the year with it right here. Okay. I mean, this thing's gonna be badass. So yeah. Yeah, because I would have said TJ's, and this is pretty much... Identical build as his. Identical, yeah. So that was, if you didn't, you don't obviously know the customer's name, but that was the white Camaro we did last year. Here's the little video. Check it out. Let's go talk to Jerry. Jerry Whoa. is working on the engine you saw him working on last episode. It's going into this ZL1. Uh, Jerry, when are you going to grow a pair of balls? <laughs> I have no idea, dude. <laughs> no idea. Great uh, question. What has been your favorite build of 2020, aka the last two months that you've been here? Probably that Cyber Grey car I just did. Okay. I like that one. That was cool. Just some yeah. 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 I like okay. that one. They had decent power. So. They make good power. Yep. I like the color of it. Nice color. Right. So, I mean, I haven't very done very many. So. Obviously. I yeah. know. We will readdress this question next year if you don't leave yeah. us because you can't take us. I'll be all right. I got it. Okay. I got it. All right, good. You had a $75,000 budget, buy plus build. What platform trim do you buy as your competitive reliable streetcar? C6 ZR1, hands down. Is remote tuning something you offer to the public? Yes. If so, what do I as a customer need to have an order for that to work? Um, just email me. I don't do all cars. If they're like, got a big cluster of parts on it, I'm not doing it. Yeah. If, if it's, it's like a relatively normal build with normal parts or you buy all of our parts, yes, I will remote tune it. Other than that, if you have like Bob the Builder fucking head package and Joe Blow cam package and eBay turbo, no. LS or LT? To own or to work on? I, I don't know. That's all it says. So I'm guessing... LS, LS is just, on? LS is just easy, easier to work on. In my opinion, you can make more power with them. Yeah. So we've even seen a couple guys going LS over their LT. Yeah. In some recent builds like C7s and stuff. Um, yeah, so show. LS. Okay. Without it, that's no doubt, no brainer. Okay. What would it take for C6E to make 700 plus, if not more NA? Um, I don't know. We've never tried. It would just take money. <laughs> I mean, that's really all anything takes. Uh, would you ever offer a more extreme LS7 head cam setup like a B4 with an FID or FED F710 head and shoot for 680 to 700? Yes, 100%. Would love to. Just need to have the right customer. Yep. If that's if your game, you want to spend some money. And you want 700 wheel, yes, 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 yes. We will absolutely try and do that. But with R&D comes money. I'm not going to do an R&D project on something for free. Certain so, things, you know, we can give or take here and there, but that stuff costs time and money. Yeah. Time is money. We don't have time to do that on a no. non-customer. No, yeah, we're booking out four months right now anyway, so for however long it is. May, something, right? So April January, May, yeah. February, March, yeah, yeah, or, or, or further. What is your least favorite part to install on a build and why? <laughs> Whew, where do I start, man? <laughs> oh, I was going to say, that's going to be a good one. God, I'm trying, it, it's going to take me, a, probably nothing on a C6Z. C6Zs are pretty easy. Even the Mamrams? Just, uh, here's, a, here, let's make it simple. No, I like doing Mamrams, I don't okay. mind them. Everybody's different. Anything on a CTS V2. CTSV, a V2, anything on those, miserable bastard. <laughs> Can't stand them. Okay. Now they're not bad to work on, but they are. The engine bays on on the V2s are are very tight compared to anything else we work on. Same question as Eric's. That last one. What is your least favorite part to install on a car, and why? I hate A and A kits on C6 Corvettes. Really? I never seen you like complain about them that much. I'm just not a complainer, Steve. I just you oh know, god, just yeah, come in right. and just just do my job. <laughs> oh, Matt doesn't complain what specifically about it. I mean, obviously, we're not bashing the ANA kit. We love the kit. No, the it kit, works, the kit power. works great. I just no. You know what? How about an eight rib kit? We'll, okay, we'll step it up to that. That's, okay, they're terrible. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, flip drive. Me and Eric both hate them things. Okay. Best right. cam on the LS3 numbers. Phil's car made 515. Yeah. Um, I mean, I have no idea, but probably somewhere around there, a little over 500. Um, any advice for someone wanting to learn how to tune? Do you recommend any classes like EFI University or Holly Training? Yes, I did the Holly Training, and it is awesome. Highly recommend that. Tom Kyes that does it is the man. Um, I would go back and take it again, just generally because the more you know about it, you you can only take in so much information like the first time you go to a class like that because it's a lot of information to take in. So the more advanced stuff he's talking about, you're like, okay, I have no f***ing idea. And then now the more you know, if you go back, you would just learn even more information because you'd already know a lot that he's talking about and then stuff, you would just learn more for the more advanced stuff. Um, what is your dream build? And I don't, it's very unspecific. I don't know if it means your Nova or a car here or... If you had endless funds, what would you build? Let's let's do that. Oh man, I think we've talked about this recently, actually. If I were, if I had a, you know, the money to do it and all that stuff, I would, I'd build a C7Z like I just did on the the white car. Yeah, that that would be what I would do. Charged. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to be making like building a car like friends race car, but although that's that's cool, but. I want a street car that I can yeah. enjoy on the street, and that would be probably it. The C7Z, white, red interior. Nice. I like it. What car would you guys like to work on next? I mean, there's nothing out that we That's would different. that we would yeah. do that we haven't done. Are y'all gonna do any C8s? I have a zero interest in C8s. You cannot tune them. Therefore, we cannot make any money on them. Therefore, I can give two sh about them. But yes, I'm assuming once tuning is available, we will do stuff with them. Yeah, whenever that may be. Yeah, we, we are not HP tuners, so we can't tell you when that will be either. Be. Not for a long time. Would you recommend doing drop-in pistons rod for an LS3? Uh, they don't make them. At least as far as my knowledge, they don't make drop-in LS3 stuff. Drop-in is only LT stuff. Question LS or LT, that's all it says. Whether it's to work on, make power, I don't, I don't know. Just uh, which do you prefer? I'm gonna say LT. Okay. I mean, hey, I mean, if I was gonna build, obviously, LS, because that's what you're doing for the money. Yeah, just because I mean, but if I was gonna, if I had to work on something or go buy something new or newer for like a street car, it'd be one of these things. Yeah. Hell, oh, we just saw you made. 607 out of the NA. Yeah. Out of that red NA car. That that's that had you cooking your ideas of getting I one. did. I was like I was like the Harley's gone and I'm I'll get like a 17 like high mileage cheap Camaro. But we'll see. I don't know about that yet. What is your least favorite part to install on a car and why? Anything that you're around for. Okay. Uh, yep. So just everything. Yes. Okay. Yes, anything you're around for is just god awful to install. Just want to you know, quit my job. That's really nice. That's yeah. good to hear. How does my filming affect your working, really? I mean, people don't seem to know that I'm only out here. Yeah, like for like six minutes a day. Yeah. yeah. Like, Give or take, maybe I eight. I really don't bother you guys that much. No. They just see what they see. That's obviously it. Yep. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be installing something simple. You know, we'll be putting the starter in. It comes in, oh, see, so you're uh, putting the starter in, huh? You know, he just asks you great questions. Yeah, that's, I mean, man. Typically, bro. It gives you brain in your All of you guys, go back to fourth grade and learn how to f write a f***ing complete sentence. And if you think you know how to do that or whether you don't know how to do that, type it all out and reread it to yourself before you press send. Holy sh like, I'm reading these as you guys are typing them, and it's painful. Sometimes I'm not even reading them fully because it's too painful to read. Yeah, like my brain corrects them, but, like, when you try to read So them, will they're... guys do performance mods on the the new Z06 motors when they're out since they will be so dip Like, bro, why don't you hire more techs? There is obviously demand for it. We don't want more techs. Quality quality. Bigger is not always better.
I don't want 20 techs out there doing a bunch of shit because guess what? There's only one of me. Yeah, exactly. Um, and you guys can hear the question and think about your answer. What is your favorite JDM car? And I know you used to be uh, a JDM. Zero. I've done. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you're going to ask me that question? That's just retarded. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't like any of them. Period. Okay. Fair enough. Matt? God, he's so angry. I know he is. That's why his name's angry. I mean, everybody agrees here that you're the more angry one. <laughs> yeah, look who's angry now, though. Why would you ask me about JDM? God, what are you, what are you people stupid? It's JDM, did you say GM? <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, I know you liked uh, Evos and Talons That's and you worked tough, on that stuff. That's tough, man. Probably Evo 8. Okay. But you know, if I really had to pick one. Okay. And then also, I know this is going to be, you're going to probably say the same thing Eric did on this one. What is your favorite German car? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that, I'm not going to get all angry like he did, but not a, not a fan. Anybody who's ever worked on cars is probably not a fan. Well, I'm not saying to work on, but if you... I, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to own something I wouldn't work on. Okay, same question. What's your favorite JDM car? I'd probably have to go with the Talon. Okay. It's cool. I don't even know. They only had two, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the one the Red Demon is, that's the one. Second gen. Um, and then what is your favorite German car? I know you're going to say my car, so just you might as well just say it. There you go, Steve. Your car is my favorite. Yeah. Car. Thank you, see? <laughs> Everybody knows how much I love that thing. E36 M3, there you go. Just, you know. No, but seriously, what's your favorite German car? I don't know. See, you're into other stuff, so you can, you, you're not biased. It's probably like an M6, like the big old sled. Okay. Or, uh, V10s. Yeah, yeah V10, the, like an RS5 or something. Okay. I like it. Yep. Or newer RS3s, they're nice, but okay. RS5, big body. Mine would be actually an RS6 Avant. Ooh, the Wago? Yeah. The Wago. I've always wanted one, and they didn't come to the States until recently, and that's one of my favorites. I don't own any Audis, but I love those cars. Yeah, what was it, the RS4, the older ones? They yep. used to have the uh, 5.2 NA. Yep, V8. A yep. couple friends had them. Yeah. Yep. My buddy Evan had one. Yeah, I know. I raced him. Really? Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, he is a good guy. Silver one? Yep. yep. Off in Dubai now. Yeah, they're cool cars. I, I like them. You know what, honestly, if I had to own a car, it'd probably be a GT3. Okay, I like that. Some things are sick. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like the blue. Cobalt or silver. Blue or oh, the blue's cool, too. Yeah. Hell, I take any color. My buddy had a 996 GT3 Cobalt Blue. It was beautiful. Yeah, they are. And you can make money on them. Like, you own it, you buy one, you drive it for a couple years, and you can probably sell it for more than it's worth. Like, what cars can you do that with? See, Especially there's what's a real it, what's, it the, what's it, the GT3 R or whatever that is RS. cage and everything? GT3 RS. Yeah. That's yeah. That, yeah. Yep. Stupid money. Stupid money. I'm going to ask the question to Eric, <laughs> but I don't think he's going to answer it. What about a German car? Would you own a German car? What What was your favorite? What would be your Absolutely favorite? Absolutely not. Same, uh, thi same as Matt. Oh, my God. They, they are yeah. the shittest over-engineered piles of shit in the world. <sighs> Useless. Useless. Uh, Useless, Eric. Yeah. What's that? He said GT3. You didn't hear him. Do that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to go with anything. <laughs> so lame. Yeah. 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 Just give me something. Appease me for once. What? The, the uh, Steve Urkel mobile. Yep, the BMW Isetta. Isetta, yeah. Yeah, yeah I Isetta. want one of them. Okay, all right, BMW Isetta. There you go. Dude, did you ever see the old episode where he goes to the racetrack in one and he yeah. soups it up? Yeah. That was a classic yeah. Family Matters episode. Dude, remember the one I had on Forza? Yeah. I think it was pulling wheel the whole way down. Yeah. See? Something like that would be cool. Yeah, some older shit like that would be neat. Yeah. None of the new shit. Though. That thing is probably, they're rare. Probably. Yeah, they are. They are pretty rare. What's your most most reliable C6 Z06 package or most recommended? Really? That's the question you're asking? I mean, like, literally look at every video that we've ever put out for the last six years. You might get an idea. Uh, what is your favorite JDM car? Like, old school Mitsubishis? I mean, anything you want. J any Japanese direct market, so anything... JDM. I had a 3000 GT VR4 back in the day. Yeah, that's true. I love that car. Oh, we'll drive twin turbo. That was oh, what, green, on it. wasn't it? It's green. Yeah. Green. 
And then uh, follow up, what is your favorite German car? I had an E55 Mercedes Benz back in the day. That's true. That was a fun car. I liked, I, when I worked for Benz, I loved all the AMG cars. They're all my favorites. Okay. I have to say AMG cars. All right. Oh, They're all the questions are the same shit. C5 question every time. C5 question. They're pieces of shit. We don't work on them. I know. That's bottom end. Our see. pistons the only thing needed to safely boost an LS7. Um, technically, yes. Um, they are the weakest point in an LS7 short block. Uh, he's asking about sleeves too, like 900 wheel. No, sleeves are perfectly fine. We've made a thousand wheel on a stock LS7 block multiple times. Rods, yeah. yeah, with crank pistons and rods. You guys done any cars from Colorado? Can't I, I don't know. Alright, here's a question for me, so I'll uh, switch to my camera. Someone asked me what kind of camera and editing software I use, so we'll give them a little behind the scenes look at the camera. Ooh. It's Panasonic GH4. Luminix. Well, wow, it's just, yeah. Has a speed booster which allows me to use Nikon lenses which all my other cameras are Nikon little microphone here's your thing I always have to turn on that sometimes dies plugs in I mean other times dickheads I never use my iPhone unless it's for Instagram or yeah or like a car's dropping off that back I use my phone yeah. uh, editing software I use Adobe Premiere Pro CC Photoshop, Lightroom for pictures. Still want to know what Fran is putting motor-wise into the Chevelle. We have talked about this multiple times. I have an LSA that I'm putting into it. Yeah, full LSA swap is what it's getting. That I got out of Fletcher Cox's CTS V2 that he has that's twin turbo. What's your dream build? Probably Eleanor. Yeah? Eleanor, original. Not really a build, but uh, at all. Dude, did you see stuff online that people are getting sued for even using the name? name oh. Yeah. That's yeah. such bull. Oh, dude, they took his whole build, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't what was his name? I forget. I, yeah, I but he had a sweet one that. going, and they were just like, "Yeah, by the way, you can't do this." Yeah, you can't use the name, and we're yeah. Like, Didn't what? they buy the rights to the name, or? I don't. I don't know what the whole logistics of it is, but I think the Eleanor Mustang, you know, from like Gone in sixty seconds. Yeah. Well, apparently some guy had like a build and they like sued him and took his car for the use of the name and shit. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's some really stupid joke. Yeah, they bought the rights to Eleanor or something. Uh, yeah, I don't know the full story on that. Feel free to put in the comments the, the, the correct info. I just read a, I think a quick Jalopnik uh, article. I'd love to do like a classic BMW like 3.0 CSL Batman car. Like people probably don't know what they are, but... Like super, super sick. I know, too much BMW stuff on the GM channel. Mm -hmm. so your questions, guys, your questions. Matt, what is your dream build? That's Any? No. <laughs> Any, I asked you that, like endless funds and stuff. I didn't ask these guys. Dream build, like endless funds, any car, what would you build? What would you do? I'd probably build a GTR. Yeah? Boring. Yeah. Or an Evo. Boring. Evo is a little cooler. GTRs are boring. Okay. I'm just, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it'd be something cool, like something classic. Yeah. GTRs are just boring. It's a computer. It's like driving an iPad. It can oh, go fast. That's funny. You ever driven one? Yes, I have. Stock one? It was bolt on. They're boring until you make like 1,300 horsepower. Let me rephrase that. Oh, you said a little bit of money. I know. But I'm just saying, it's like in a general. Bitch be a built block. Yeah. 2,000 horsepower. Boop, boop. What was that? I think they're boring until you make a ton of power. Okay, let, I'll rephrase that. What would be your dream build? Like, any amount of money, any car. If you had them, I'm, I already know the answer to this, I think. You do? Because I don't. I was going to say like a LS7 third gen or something. Yes, that'd be sick. <laughs> yep. Hawks did one of them. It was bad. They took a Z28, new Z28, fifth gen Z28 roller and put it on a third gen body and it was pretty sick. That's what I figured your dream build would that be. That would be a nice build. So, so yeah. I already knew your answer. Yeah, look at you. The wifey's FaceTiming me. Here, we'll get her in on this. The baby and the baby on there. You might as well ask your question, KP. When does KP become KS? Sometime in the next 144 years. 
Can you narrow it down a little bit? Yes, sometime in between the next 87 years. Uh, yeah. So you're telling me there's a chance. There is a chance, babe. <laughs> you know what movie that's like from? Like one in a million or... Do you know what movie that's from? Do I know what movie that's from? Babe. What's your favorite? Yeah, for one, anytime you, if you ask her a movie quote and she you say just, what movie that's from, she just says Dumb and Dumber. Well, I mean you quote well, it the it most. Is. They have the best one-liner. Yeah, she's seen about one movie her entire life. And she's not even Dumb and Dumber because she hasn't even seen that. I've seen The Grinch. Look at the way Frankie's lot. looking at you. <laughs> did Fran see the collection of 250 or 4 wheelers? Yes, I did. Fran doesn't like 250 or 4 wheelers. I mean, I have a 250R. It was 50000 for the collection. I thought it was <coughs> a little high. But apparently it sold a couple days later. It was a little high in my... It was like 80, 8500 a bike. Your daughter just farted. Oh, thanks, babe. Have fun. Okay, bye. Say hi again. Love you, Mama. Okay, bye. I love you. Love you, too. Uh, have you done LS swaps for customers? No, we do not do LS swaps. And have you tuned any LS swaps? Yes, I've tuned them back in the day, but we don't do them anymore. Can I pet the dog? Man, oh, yeah, where's this? He's yeah. over there. Um, yeah, you can pet him. <laughs> does Matt really stand while way wiping? <laughs> yes, he does. I mean, apparently. I mean, I've never physically watched him, but I, Eric, I guess, I believe did. How many cars has t Fran tuned in his lifetime? Dude. I won't be able to answer that question, <coughs> but I can probably tell you how many tuned files I have. There is 4,046 files and I generally have, I'd say 90% of the time I have two files per car. I have the stock file and then I have their tuned file. Um, some cars I have multiple files. Some cars I have like eight files for. So in the realm of that, I'd say 50, you know, half of that's about 2,000. Um, I don't know. That sounds about right. But I mean, like I said, for some cars I have like eight files. Not for a lot of them, just like Joey's old car, like when we're trying different shit, and then I'd have like a street, like a one for the street and one for the track, um, and shit like that. But I mean, I don't know. In between fifteen and eighteen hundred is my guess. I, I literally have no idea. Will you tube my Ford Lightning? Uh, I assume he means tune. Uh, the answer is no. And can we get a chug off with an OG green monster? F no. Okay. How many banshees is Fran up to? Well, I sold like 90% of the ones I have. I think I only have five. I have five, a 250R, a Honda Pilot, and some other shit. CR500, CR450. Stuff like, you wanted to keep. Yeah, shit like that. If money wasn't a concern, what would you own for a fun weekend whip? I don't know. There's here. so many var there's so many variables to that question. Like, like I loved my ZR1. Like my ZR1 was like a perfect weekend like street car. Like I loved that car. I don't know. Like maybe that. I mean, it's, if you're talking like exotics and shit like that, like a Lambo or an R8 or something like that. I mean, maybe. But I don't, I don't know. Like probably an underground. I think I would probably have an R8 over a, a Lambo. Joe from Cords is emailing me. Hey, bud. Uh, that's about it, really. Can we get a whole video of Fran just bitching? Yes, people it's are right fucking stupid. They're idiots. They think because, like, they turned off a check engine light that they can tune your car. So they start advertising, like, fucking Johnny Bonanza's fucking tuning brigade on Facebook. And people are like, yo, I went to Johnny's, Johnny Genosics, because he's... He was eight bucks to tune it. It's a furniture store, by the way. <laughs> I know. <laughs>